Hello everyone, we're currently in the hospital with Kyle and Bean. Everything is not okay. The last video we thought everything was going to be okay. That was not the plan. Kylan ended up going to his pediatrician. Um, they drew a bunch of blood work, did an ultrasound, um, and an x-ray. Everything came back normal except for his blood work. His hemoglobin was dropping drastically. On Saturday, it was at 10, and then it dropped to 8, and then by, I think, Tuesday, it was already like six. at 6. 6.3. Yeah. 6.3. Um, Patrick and I were in, we're at the gym with Christy and uh, Katrina. When I got a call, it was like 9.30 at night, I got a call from his pediatrician saying, you guys should need to admit him into the children's hospital um, because his hemoglobin levels were dropping and he, you know, was just going to keep losing blood until we took him in. So we immediately skirt, skirt, ran back home. I was freaking out. I was crying. We packed our things and we left. We went to the emergency room. Um, there they ran more tests, took more blood, connected him to an IV. Um, and that night, they were just monitoring him all night. He hadn't pooped yet. Yeah. So, he wasn't losing blood, but his hemoglobin levels were still dropping. Dropable. So, when we woke up that next morning, already <laughs> Wednesday, um, they decided to give him a blood transfusion. I think he's A positive. Yeah, A positive. A positive. Mm -hmm. So they gave him a full blood transfusion that lasted like five hours. Um, yeah, that was a long night. I remember it was that. Really long. So in total, we've been here for a week now. Yeah, almost. Yeah, almost a week. Almost a week. And Erica went outside for the first time yesterday to get some fresh air. But uh, yeah, what was it? Uh, the next day they got him in to do the scan. Remember? Uh, when? Was it the next day? That's Thursday. What day, what day are we at? Today's set. Okay, yeah, so Thursday is when they did the scan. They were gonna do it Wednesday, but they couldn't because he wasn't stable enough to yeah, go under his Yeah, his hemoglobin check. wasn't yeah. up. His they needed that to go up. And he had, like, a cold. Oh, yeah, that too. So they couldn't put him under because, obviously, he went, he's not... There'd be complications with his age and also, like, The breathing, respiratory. yeah. So they had to wait till Thursday. Thursday, he went under anesthesia for the first time. Um, but he did fine. He was holding on to Pat's toothbrush all the time. <laughs> yeah, he was. We should put some pictures. Too. It was hard. Yeah, we'll put pictures up and we'll probably put some in the thumbnail. And then after that, uh, came back to the room. He was totally fine. But they said that the Meckel scam, which is what they did, came, came back, back positive. positive for Meckel's diverticulum, yes. I think is how you pronounce it. So they were going to need to operate yes. soon. And what Meckles is, it's like a, I'll put a picture on the screen here as well. It's like a little sack that attaches to like your small intestines. small intestines. And that's what was causing him to have bloody stools. They said that some kids can live their whole life and just have it one and done. But when there's, it's rare occasion. It's not, I mean, it's rare, but it's not rare, they said. <laughs> so, but when it comes to when babies have bloody stool, like Kylan and their hemoglobin starts going down, they need to take care of it before, you know, worse comes to worse. Some people have Meckel's diverticulum and then they don't even know because they don't have the symptoms. Exactly. He did. Um, I think it's like two out of three children could have it, mm -hmm. have symptoms. Yeah. So they said they were going to need to operate as soon as possible. They were also going to take his appendix out. Um, which we agreed well, to. Well, they, they did. Well, they did. They did take his they appendix out because they, they, asked ex us first. they asked us, of course, and they told us that uh, since they're like already going in there, we might as well just do it because we didn't want him later on, like something happened with it and then it, it bursts or something and it gets an infection. They would have to do another incision and we just didn't want that. And they also said that it serves no purpose now. Like it, it's like a dormant uh, part in the body that just doesn't do anything for anybody so except cause problems down the road exactly in my family her my mom side has problems with appendix yeah with appendix, so i was like you know what they're already gonna be there so it's fine Might as well so, yeah. Do it. yeah and it wasn't like something that hurt him obviously he was under they didn't make an extra incision or nothing like that it was the same incision they just like knocked it out so that was thursday night 
morning. Yeah, didn't they, they did the scan and the surgery the same day, right? Yeah. Yeah. They did the scan kind of in the morning That's right. and then the surgery later on that night. Mm -hmm. uh, the surgery came out great. Great. Yeah. It only took what? Three? Three hours? A little bit less than three hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then he slept for the rest of the night. He was like in and out of sleep. He would wake up, try to like stand up and stuff like that. But he couldn't because he had a tube connected in his nose down yeah. to his stomach that was draining out the mm -hmm. waste. Which they just took out like an hour ago. Yeah. It was it was bad. It was like it goes on his nose all the way down to his uh, stomach, mm -hmm. and it just sucks out all the stuff that you know like he would normally poop out. But I mean, let me show you like this little. I don't know if you can see it. He has this cut right there. It's like a, what? How many inches at the like top? A centimeter. A at centimeter the top at the top the and the bottum. bottom. And then a centimeter below the bullet. Yeah, but uh, he's not touching it no more. He's been getting Tylenol. Tylenol. And uh, what was the other one they gave him? They gave him morphine, morphine. right after surgery, but uh, they said the morphine side effect is it sustains his uh, his bowels. So yeah. and they say the longer they want him to to use his to like to poop, but if he takes the morphine, it's gonna suppress that, and we don't want that. Yeah, what's wrong, buddy? Mm -hmm. As you can see, Callan is happy. His grandparents came by uh, yesterday and brought him some toys. My mom came by, what was it? Thursday? Yeah. Right. Callan gets to eat some food. Well, some liquids. Chicken broth. <laughs> Since they took the tube out today and he's not on morphine, we're hoping and praying that we can go home tomorrow. From the looks of it, I mean, he seems fine. He's not like in any pain right now, or like itching his uh, stat uh, stitches or anything like that. So I think yeah. that they want to see him poop once before they release him. Though. Yeah, it's like the same like when I when I was in the hospital, like after I gave birth. Yeah, they wanted me to like pass gas or like poop. Right. Before this is our room here. It's a little tight, but it's okay. It was needed to be. It was something that was needed to be done. This couch is not the comfiest. While Kyle eats his lunch, I'm probably gonna go downstairs and get some lunch for Erica and I to see what's on the menu. Poor babe is tired. <laughs> what the heck is that? He wants his Jello. Kyle. So scary. It's <laughs> like Harry Osborn. Oh. Evil. Put that tongue back in your mouth. I know. Island. It's a Harry Osborn. Evil Harry Osborn. Yeah. <laughs> from Amazing Spider Man one? Yes. Downtown Norfolk looks so peaceful from up here. The nurse told me to go a different way and it completely threw me off. Oh, okay. I found the elevators. Eric and I just want to thank everyone that donated towards Kylan. We really do appreciate it and we do see all the love and support that you guys give to Kylan and we know that he's super loved by you guys. So like, coming from our heart, we mean it. Thank you guys. Ended up getting spaghetti and meatballs with chicken and parm for Erica. I just got back and Kylan has his first poop. It's looking a lot better. It kinda hurt him though. Yeah, yeah he looked Erica said that he looked in pain. He was like he started crying. I heard him crying when I was down the hole. But it was a good, almost good poop. solid poop. Almost solid. It, it was still a little bloody. red bloody, but not as much as it was before. And not as bright. Yeah, but they said that's okay because this is like leftover stuff from his previous bowel movements. Chub baby. Two poopy diapers later, he was eating his chicken broth. It is painful for him to use the bathroom though because he's passing stool through where they made an incision. Hi, Bubba. Ew. It's ew. It's not good. <laughs> you like it? 
<laughs> you should tell you your cooking's better. You nana. It is the next day and Callan is now able to eat solid foods. Today he has french fries and chicken nuggets with applesauce. applesauces. Still no update on when we can go home. Hopefully tomorrow. Not tomorrow either. I don't think so because why would they put the IV in? Yeah, they put a new IV in. Uh, it was on this side, but they moved it to the other side. This side was really, it, well it is really sore. Yeah, his arm was just, like kind of swollen. And bruised. Yeah. Never heard that. That's beeping. And the other patient is beeping. Okay guys, we're gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm gonna go home and upload this video for you guys. Hopefully in the next video we have an update and you guys will just see us at home. But unfortunately that's not the case. Again, we want to thank you guys for like keeping Kyla in your prayers and just, you know, showing your love and support. We really do appreciate it guys. And smash the like button for Kylan. He's doing a lot better. <laughs> He's just chilling watching this Disney or whatever. Until next video guys, peace out.